So now that we've shown a little bit about the field, we're going to show you a little bit about the, how it's harvested and how it's um, processed through here. As you can see here where we're at today, we're, we're looking at where we start by planting the seed. One of the products that we make is our beloved barley mix. We start with the seed that's grown in a high elevation lake bed soil, that's grown organically in nice, beautiful, clean air, pristine air with over 320 days of sunshine, which gives us not only the nutrient-rich value from the soil, but gives us even higher level chlorophyll due to the excellent sunshine that we have. Before the seed is put into the ground, the field is uh, fertilized uh, with natural manure that's from local uh, supplied dairies and feed yards. It helps build the organic microorganisms, the organic acids, the organic matter that helps break down and make the raw minerals that are still in their more elemental forms here in the ground available for the plants to absorb up in. Uh, without that, you would see uh, you know, smaller plants, uh, less richness in the color of it, and certainly less mineral and nutritional value within the finished product. Harvesting, uh, we've got to watch for the timing of the planting and actually stage out some of the fields and crops for planting so that it doesn't come on too fast because we can only harvest and juice and dry so quickly. So that's where you know, we've uh, gotten into having you know, equipment and stuff that is, is designed specifically to help harvest the stuff to keep the product cool, to uh, keep it from uh, being uh, damaged too much so we can bring in the fresh grass and be able to run it through the process in a very quickly and timely manner. So we're able to take what we have now grown as high quality grass, been able to harvest it, get it through the washing, the grinding, the juicing, the drying process, literally within hours from the time that it's cut out here. So that we're able to preserve those natural nutrients so when they come to the point of naturally breaking down, that is able to happen within our systems rather than before we get it stabilized in a high quality dry powder. If you've seen the bells, they come out, they're very large and they're a little bit deceiving in size compared to the weight that's there because the same bell in a typical dry product would maybe be 500 pounds. But what you're looking at in these bells, where they're fresh cut wet grass, they can be anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. And each one of these bells will make anywhere from 70 to 90 gallons of fresh barley or alfalfa juice. So as you see each one of these bells, you can see the size and the dimensions of 150 jars of barley max or 75 to 90 gallons of juice and start realizing the concentration of nutrient density, what there is, from fresh grass to what we have in the barley max. Barley juice is, is probably one of the first uh, components or ingredients that came uh, about in terms of the whole food nutritional concept that's been growing at an amazing rate over the past uh, 25 to 30 years. Barley grass has a rich level of chlorophyll but also has uh, minerals and nutrients there that are hard for our body to get from other sources. This is something that every single individual out there would experience some substantial benefit if they even consumed small amounts of barley max on a regular basis. Notice how large this piece of barley is.